Okay. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. You're welcome to our Deaf um, Focus Group meeting. Welcome, everyone. And um, I was asking Nelson how he's finding his contribution. So, hi, Nelson. You can go ahead now. <laughs> Okay, so um, it's been good so far. Um, when I started, it was looking very, very confusing, very mysterious. Like, but now I think I just did my second pull request, so I feel like I'm getting to understand it. Or nice. open source contributing to open source projects now. So I think I'm going to get to it now. And it was so wonderful that the stack that I'm good at is what the badging project is, React and JavaScript. So, so it just falls that the project we are currently doing is, is the stack I'm good at. So, so it's all good so far. And I'm loving the community so far. So. Hello. Hmm, I'm, I actually... Um... I'm happy to hear that, that you're loving the community and that you've been able to uh, contribute so far. Actually, I, I feel that with anything in life, once you start a thing, it, it looks so um overwhelming. Sometimes it, it's kind of bigger in your eyes until you just begin to take one step after the other and then you get used to that same thing that looks so big. So I would like to commend your consistency, honestly. You came into the community and you just dived, dive, uh, should I say dived or dove? <laughs> I hope I'm correct now. Like you just got started immediately. I see you in the other meetings too, the DEI working group yeah. meetings and even the, the, the general um, sync meeting, which is very, very yeah. um, commendable because it actually helps you to understand the community better all the issues that are um that needs contribution to are usually discussed in these meetings and and that that makes me want to also encourage everyone especially um yes the general thinking meeting is very important actually that's when you get to meet other members of the um the the entire community but apart from that the the DEI working group is very important especially to um, the budget project because that's where all the needs for all the product requirements, all the needs for the budget website are usually discussed. So it helps you kind of gain understanding of the product as a whole so that you can know how to contribute and when to actually come in. So very important. If you can, if you can, that's um, on Wednesdays at three or at four o'clock. Um, West African time. So please let's endeavor to um come around. Um, so let me let me drop the the doc for us the link to the doc first so that we can we can write our names and um, move on from there. Just a quick one. Is there a point in the agenda where we could ask questions? I have a question about the pull request. So. Yes, yes, yes. You can always ask questions. And that's why we gather, actually, so that we can ask questions and be able to move forward in the project wherever we are stuck and all that. So. All right, please go ahead and just tell us your name. All right, so I want to move on to um, Winifred. I also see you around. By the way, you have a budget review um, request um, on the event and diversity inclusion website. Have you gotten any notification? Are you even pinged to? Yes, I have. I've already started looking into it. Oh, okay. I've already looked into it. Okay, I just wanted to be sure you got it. So, 
Um, I've been seeing it around also. How are you finding it in general? Is there anything that you find interesting? How has your contribution been so far? Uh, well, I'm not contributing code wise yet, I guess. Uh, okay. because Java is my core language, not um JavaScript. So, yeah, I did say I was going to learn JavaScript this year, but I haven't gotten into it. So I'm hoping I get into it before the end of this year and hopefully use it to make contributions. Yeah, code wise, but non code wise, I guess it's good. It's been good. One thing I'll do is attend meetings. So, yeah, I would contribute my presence in on Zoom and um, the accessibility part of the like contributing to um, improving accessibility. I think that's one part that has been um, nice for me or to me. Uh, yeah, it's been okay so far. So. Hmm. Okay, so have you been contributing to the accessibility um group? The accessibility yeah, project. Are, um. Yeah, when there are contributions, I guess I'm not. I don't know, like the nitty gritty or the um technical part of it, but. Yeah, I listen in on their conversations when they are and um, try to make my own little inputs whenever I need to. Okay, you don't want to be involved in the, with the technical um, aspect? Yeah, I do, but I haven't like gotten into it yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So I think I mentioned the last and I really wish that um I really wish that uh the project man the new project managers that came into the community are here because I already told them to join us in this meeting. So I understand um how should I say frustrating it can be when there are is actually a code contribution um available a code a coding project available and you can't contribute because of the programming language that it's, is being used. So uh, I'm thinking that okay, so let's say right, right now the stack is JavaScript, um, and Node.js and all that. That can we can we then begin to look into other areas that we can contribute for people whose primary language is not JavaScript. And that's the technical documentation. So um, we've been looking into the project and trying to um, assess what other areas um, of need do we have within the project. And documentation is a key aspect. Because if you notice, many people come in and they don't really know what the project is all about because Formerly, it was a closed project in which few people um, that are long-time members of, of the community were actually working on the project, and then it recently became open when it was launched. So if we can have a well-detailed documentation, I think that will go a long way in helping um, us to properly onboard um, new contributors and get them to work faster. Uh, I hope that um, resonates with you, um, Winifred. Yes, it does. I think the last meeting I attended for this day, uh, you mentioned, you asked if I would like to like get involved with the documentation. Mm -hmm. And I did say, yeah. Okay, yes. So um, the reason why it took, um, it's been taking a while right now is because there, there were a lot of, um, issues that were created that needed some resolution. So um, we are kind of taking it one after the other. That's why it's been, um, the talk on documentation has been a bit um, slack. And then um, there's also the conversation that should we throw this out to people who would like to do internship through season of docs? Uh, um, or we should allow people in the community to to actually see how they can venture into technical documentation, technical writing, 
and get this done rather than looking for outsiders. Yeah. So that was that was more favored. That is um getting our own contributors to actually do the technical writing rather than start looking for because there's a whole lot that goes into getting interns from uh, Google's season of docs, right? So and the, the resources are not available for that right now. So um what we intend to do now is to actually set up the focus group. It's been there all this while, but it's kind of laying low because I'm not sure we have anyone that is actively leading that um focus group. So the the question now is um who is willing to take this for? to say, oh, I would lead this group and then we can come up with something. So if you want to be responsible for that, please let me know. And um, we can then know how to move ahead with that. Is this something you're interested in and you have time for? So heading a focus group, so um don't let me scare you with adding or leading. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm saying <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. So Nelson wants to say something. Yeah. Hi Nelson. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, my, my question is, is it that there will be training for technical writing within the community? Because yeah, that's a good most, question. like for me, because for me, I, I have not actually done any course on technical writing so but if there will be a course a, a training on technical writing I would, I would like to like to also enroll then then see because that is one of the reasons why I came to open source so that I will be able to improve on some on some stack so I'll be able to learn many other things. So if there will be a training within the community then I'll be I'll be hmm. interested. Hmm. Yes, yeah. I mean, no, so, like, there's a so I'll sign up for that. Hmm. Okay. Let me see. This one, would you like to answer that question? <laughs> Are you there? Hello, this one. Okay. So um technically technically can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. So technically, um I, I wouldn't say there are trainings actually. Yes, maybe we could actually come up with a workshop if we discover that we have a lot of people who are um not really in that space and would really love to um like jump on that kind of project because technically when people come into open source they usually come in to contribute the skills they already have right so um normally a technical writer would come in and contribute the technical writing skill they have into open source but if we now have a whole lot of people who don't really know that but there is a need for it within the community then we can organize a quick workshop on that to help people move on so i think um so so what we would do this not knowing that probably a lot of people might not really know what technical writing is all about let me even ask because we have two more people that have not said anything today um if you're maha cindy what do you think do you do you have any experience with technical writing one way or the other Good afternoon, everyone. I don't know whether I could say content writing because that's what I do. I write content, I write articles, so I don't know whether and that could equate to technical writing. Maybe if I see somewhere I could learn how it is done, maybe I can do that as well because I've not been able to contribute because. My major language is flutter, like so. I'm not able to contribute anything. Okay, okay. 
All right. So so technical writing is just a little bit different. So so it's under content writing, but it's just a little bit different because now rather than just um, any form of content, you are now specific to say you're writing on on a technical tool about a, a technical topic. For instance, it could be a software, it could be um any tool, any tool that needs people um to be guided before they can use it. That's technical documentation. And so um we usually we we document when it comes to the world of software de development, we document um APIs, we document any software that, that we we build so that it can help other developers to be able to understand whatever it is that you have written in your code base and be able to like get started on that on that um code base in case there is any need for maintenance or for feature enhancement and all that so um okay so now that it's looking as if most people don't have experience of technical writing we might just organize a workshop for those who would love to contribute um technical document to, to, to technical documentation in the community so let's leave the aspect of leading or taking on project i think i'll speak to the community manager on that so that we can have someone that um is actually um, already in it so that um, they'll be able to um, be able to lead others um in the project for the project so um, I think that's that about that. Um, is that is that okay, um, Winifred? Let's just see how we can get the training done. Yes, that's fine. Thank you. Okay, okay. So, um, I wanted to. So, I think I already know about Cindy now. Cindy has not been able to contribute because she's a Flutter developer. Um, so. Again, Cindy, can you hear me? Have you have you tried to attend any meeting? Because we have a whole lot of other projects. You don't necessarily have to contribute as the coder. For instance, now I I belong to the the high working group, and apart from being a developer on the budget project, some of the other things I do is to help review the budget process. That when event um the, there is an application from event organizers to help to help them batch their event, um I applied as one of the reviewers, so I get to review the application to to see if it's actually um following the metrics of diversity and inclusion for them to be able to hand a good badge to say oh they are actually following. Um, the practices and the principles of DEI, right? So that's another form of contribution. You do, it doesn't have to do with um, coding or anything. And that was, if you've been seeing any um, congratulations at the Encode channel, is that I, so from being a reviewer, then I had, I was asked to move on to um, maintaining the budget review process. Do you get now? So I am trying to see the, uh, um, how else you can tr contribute probably. Um, so there is this accessibility um, working group also. And um, it's also a big deal. They need a lot of help. And the reason why I said it's a big deal is because um, there was this outreach program that I applied to. I don't know if you know about it. It's an internship um, program. And one of the projects that were available for that particular um, court's contribution phase is accessibility, um, is it update, they call it now. And um, I think it's it's a field that is growing, you know, and it's something that you can actually contribute to. So I saw that you raised, okay. You want to say something if you're not? Okay. Um please can you hear me because I'm not getting response from Cindy. I can hear you. Can anyone still hear me? I can. Oh, 
Oh, yes, I can hear you. I heard everything you said. Sorry, I didn't respond. Oh goodness, I've been muted. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Winifred, I've been speaking. Oh my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. So what did you hear me say last, Winifred? Um, you were asking Cindy if she could hear you. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Did you hear me ask her questions also? If she has been able to see any other working group to attend their meetings? No, I don't recall that. Oh, okay. But she did reply okay. you. Actually. Oh, okay, it's fine. Time. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Thank you. Um, What else? What else? So for the... I want to ask one question. Um, For people contributing to the front end... That's um, Nelson. Have you been able to find your way around the front end aspect of the website enough to be able to teach another person? Like the understanding the code? Yes, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, the little I've, I've gone through, I, I, I really I, I have an understanding. So okay, so you have an understanding of the flow of the of the code base, the entire process of the budget, uh, project budget itself. The front end, that is what I'm saying. Yes, the front end. That's what I mean. Yes, I'm particular about the front end. Yeah, a, a little, okay. a little. I have an understanding. Okay, okay. I think the little understanding is good enough for us. So the thing is, um. As new contributors are coming in, again, um, we are going to have, we are planning to have a detailed documentation, but while that is still um, in the in the planning phase, I would like to be able to identify people that can walk others through, or even um, kind of like carry out peer programming on any task so that we can get work done as fast as possible. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I, I think I didn't get it at the point. Like my network got disconnected. I don't know if I okay, so it. I said, okay, so I said that the reason why I was asking you is so that okay. um we could we could um pair you with someone that is new, and you could just walk them through pending the time that the technical documentation is being prepared. Do you get? Okay, okay, Anna, it's okay. Okay, okay. Then All right, thank I, you, I, everyone. I have, yeah. I have a little question about the... I've been trying to request for a review for my peer. Mm -hmm. but, um, okay. Who did you ask for review? I think I've been trying to do it, but I think it thinks as if I'm not... I'm not... I'm having difficulty doing it. 
So after I no, put up my pull request, it's not difficult for me to get someone now request to review. So that is the step. No, what, what, I'm not... Oh, okay. So you've not been able to select a reviewer. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me check it out. Let me put that as. Let me put that as uh, one of my to dos. Okay. So I'll check it out and then DM you so that we can work through it together. Okay. Okay. That would be nice. Thank you. All right, is there any question? Any other question before we round up? Okay, so if there's no more questions, I would like to say thank you everyone for showing up. Um, I, have, I want... Sorry, I have one last question. Okay, okay. So, um, is there any float? Hello? You are muted. Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm listening. I think is there any for is there any flowchart on the functionality that needs to be like that needs to be implemented on the front end? So Sorry, what did you say again? Issue. I say is there any flowchart like how the front end needs to be? The things that needs to be in the front end so that we can be creating issues of things that are not yet on the Mm -hmm. so, yes, yeah, so I'm currently working on getting the updated PRD. Um, I've not been able to access that, but once we, we have access to that, then we'll be able to move on from there. Okay, okay, no problem. Thank you very much. Then there is also the design. There's, there's more than saying there is the design. And yeah, concerning your review, yes, I, I asked if you could see, you could actually mention some, okay, the, you can mention the person in the comments, they will be notified. Okay. Okay, okay. So, um, Nelson, can you check the chat session? Let's try that and see if it will work. But if it doesn't, you can just DM me. Then also we have access. Desmond, please, do you have the link to the, we should even put that in the dev doc. Do you have the link to the Figma design? Do you? Then mm, also Nelson. No. No, you don't, no, Abby. No. Let me also no. put that down. Do you have an access to the design? Is it me? Nelson. I think um Nelson. No, I, I don't. I don't. Okay. Okay. No problem. We'll have, we'll get that and then we can work on that. All right. Thank you everyone. I want you to have a lovely star. Rest as much as you can, please. <laughs> and um enjoy your break. Thank you. Bye, everyone. <laughs> I don't Bye. say anything this word. <laughs> Bye. Bye.